Listen, did you know the Bible predicts that in the last days that there'll be a germ warfare? That diseases will break out upon the people and will fall on everyone without the baptism of the Holy Spirit? But was the angel who had charge over these plagues was given orders to touch no one on whom the mark was. Well, how much kind of teachers have we got to be, brethren, to get the church in order to be in that condition? Immune. My arms are sore now from where the doctors just punched needles in to try to inoculate me from yellow fever and so forth. I told them I didn't need it, but they wouldn't listen to me. But i tell you what God's going to do. God's got a serum. And it's called the Holy Ghost. And when that serum goes in, it'll inoculate you. Hallelujah. In the last days, I remember one time during the 37 flood, everybody had to take typhoid shots. And so I was escaping mine. I was a lineman, so I was out and gone. Some fellow walked up to me and said, have you got your shots yet? I said, oh, yes. I got my shot. He said, uh, you did? said, did it make you sick? I said, oh, no. I said, no, it sure didn't. He said, when did you get your shot? I said, oh, about three years ago. Three years? He said, well, you ought to take another. And I said, I get one about every hour. <laughs> All right. I was just going on to him. But look, friend, the time is coming that when there is rising up a church, if we can't have faith for divine healing, how are we going to have faith for the rapture? Now, some of them said, well, now if the plague falls, we'll just go to the hospital. If the plague, if the plague happens to fall, you know what we'll do? We'll go get Dr. Jones. You know how to take care of it. It didn't work. Yet they were smart. What well, the plague falls, we'll just go down beneath the ground in a cave and shut the door down. That won't do one bit of good. We'll stay in a house and put a mask over our face and, and put some disinfect on it. Didn't do a bit of good. God made a provided way. Yes, and it was what? The blood. God provided it as simple as a scene to take the blood of the lamb and sprinkle the door. Yet God said that was his way and he honored it. All out from under the blood died the firstborn. One day, the Bible says that things will break out on this earth and diseases and things. And all people be tagged and it'll fresh your rod on them and so forth. But the Bible says, don't you come near any of those who have the seal of God in their forehead. And the seal of God is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You see the oncoming plagues and storms that's to hit the earth and thunders and lightning that's going to shake the heavens. Woes are going to pass over the nation. Man will rot in their flesh. Diseases will strike them. The doctors know nothing about. But remember, before that took place, there was a ceiling went forth. And the death angels and the plagues was commissioned by God. Don't come near any of those who have the seal in their flesh. And the seal of God is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. 